Hey friends! So I am so sorry I am a couple days behind on giving this announcement for my family um, that's actually kind of following along while we're going through this whole process but um, I worked this weekend so it's just a little bit busy and I haven't been able to get to a computer but um, last week was a roller coaster ride like to say the least I was not expecting it to be such a waiting game and really have no type of control over what the heck was going on um, and so I think it was on my last update I told you that I asked them not to call us with our day three report um, because you know I had a really hard time and I was super anxious about you know how many um, eggs we had lost and you know being down to 13 I knew you know some people lose like four eggs for day three and I was afraid my number was going to get cut down a lot um, and being that we are doing genetic screening on our embryos I know that um, you know abnormal versus normal that we'll probably lose half of whatever make it to day five I would think maybe who knows um, but so I was just super anxious last week about, you know, what the outcome was going to be, even though I had no control over it. It was just like very mentally taxing. Um, so Saturday, I think it was Friday the night before, um, I was so nervous to get the call the next day. Um, but I was at work, so I knew that I was like trying to decide if I wanted to just let it go to voicemail or if I was going to answer, and I decided I had to answer because if, you know, it wasn't a good outcome, I was going to want to ask a lot of questions, so, um, so Saturday, I waited and waited all morning, and I did my cares with all my babies at work, um, and I knew they usually call like between 10 and 12-ish, um, or at least that's when on Saturdays they're only open till noon, I think. So I figured they'd call before then. And I don't know how it happened, but I missed the phone call. And, um, so I got the voicemail and I listened to it and they told me, um, that we had four embryos that made it to the blastocyst stage, um, to day five and they biopsied those four and, um, and then froze them so they said we had four embryos and um, that they said that there was a few more that they were watching until day six to see if they continued to grow um, and if they did then they would biopsy on them on day six and um, freeze them so um, you know initially I was happy because I was like four embryos like I was really afraid they were gonna call and tell me we only had two or we only had a couple um, you know or I don't know even one that'd be horrible but um, horrible not horrible but just horrible given the situation that we had had X amount of eggs and you know we really wanted to do and we paid for this genetic screening so I wanted to have you know best of odds as possible um, and so after I, you know, I was happy about the four initially and then I kind of thought about it and I'm like kind of was a bummer. I was hoping to at least have two embryos if we decided to transfer two um, for this first frozen um, transfer and then at least have some backups in case our first time didn't work. That way I wouldn't have to go through the whole stemming process again. We would just be able to thaw the embryos that we already collected and um, put those in. So, you know, four, I was like, well, I guess technically if everybody comes back normal, then we'll have, you know, two for this cycle, two for next cycle, hopefully, as long as they thaw well. Um, and I didn't really know what a few more embryos meant, but, uh, I was hoping that we could get maybe one more on day six. So fast forward to this Sunday, I was at work again. Um, and I was like, I will not miss this call. So I turned my cell phone um, volume up. I was in the break room. They called, um, and she, she said she was having it. She's like, hi, this is, I don't remember her name. Oh, was, I think it was Tiana. No, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, she called and she said, um, 
So it's an, an awesome day today. Um, they ended up getting five embryos on Saturday. So there was another one that was ready after they had called me, um, biopsying and freezing. And then they actually got six more on Sunday. So we had a total of 11 embryos right now um, that are biopsied and frozen at New Direction um, and that they got all the biopsies. They sent them to the lab. I believe it's in San Francisco and that we'll be waiting for those PGS results. So I was just over the moon like you know after hearing the four I kind of come to grips with it. Um, but I was just so like happy. It was like really the first really good news that we had gotten that week. Um, and I started crying and then the nurse on the phone was like, Oh, you're so sweet. And I was just bawling my eyes out because, oh my gosh, it's like, you just put so much time and effort and emotions. And after being like so sick over that phone call that we had gotten last week, um, one day after the retrieval, um, like to get a really good phone call and it took everything in me to ask them to not call on day three and I was a little bit nervous but it was really the best decision for me um to kind of just let go and just let whatever was going to happen happen um I know that I mean now I guess there probably were maybe 11 I don't know how many were going on day three but it was just so awesome to hear that we have 11 baby embryos, um, frozen on ice, frosty snowflake children, um, right now. So over the moon about that, um, we should be getting our genetic results on them within the next week or so. Um, and then we will know, you know, how many we really have, um, potentially to transfer or, you know, how many rounds we could technically go but Tim says we're only gonna do what we need to do to get one child so <laughs> we'll see um, but it's just like really like finally a big relief that we have 11 babies 11 well not babies embryos they feel like my children every single one of them honestly um, and no, I'm not going to have all 11 of them, clearly, but, um, you know, like, like, I don't know, it's just weird to think, like I told Tim, I said, like, my DNA and your DNA have come together and have made little frozen babies, like, little embryos, and, like, um, there was a girl in one of our groups that was talking about, like, the moment that you know, your cells get together and start dividing and blah, blah, blah. And you have your whole like genetic map. Um, it's like all of our kids, like they already have genders. They already, you know, have my, hopefully my eyes, <laughs> mine or Tim's eyes or, you know, like height characteristics and just everything. So it's really cool to think about. And science is just so awesome. Um, and I'm so glad that God has taken us to this point, like, that we have embryo babies. And I'm really praying hard that when we transfer them, that we actually get some one or two um, babies out of this. So it's been a pretty emotional week. I'm happy to finally kind of feel back to myself. Um, yeah, and that is really where we're at right now with the whole process. Um, I, the select people that do know what we're going through have been calling and calling and, um, it's just like weird. I don't know how to like put it. Like, it's like sometimes you want to talk about everything that's going on and then never, other times you just don't want to because you don't want to think about it and don't want to, um, you know, think about what can go wrong or try to explain. And I feel like I've kind of explained the process over and over and over again to multiple people. Um, so I don't know. I apologize to select few people, you know, who you are, who like, I'm like, okay, I just need a break from talking about, you know, what's going on at the moment or, you know, I'll tell you when I'm ready to tell you what's going on and, um, 
it's just, I don't know, I guess what I'm trying to say is don't take it personally. It's just when, pe when people, especially women, not so much men, I mean like Tim, he's just very, like I've said before, black and white about, you know, what's going on and um, he just sees everything as steps. And me, like, I am very much more, I don't know, emotional and sensitive about, um, you know, what could go wrong and, you know, where we're at. And, you know, it's something I constantly think about pretty much 24-7. Um, so, Tim could probably talk about it all day. But me, sometimes I'm like, I just really need a break and I just need, you know, I don't need the phone calls over and over again. Um because sometimes, you know, when I didn't have good news, it was really hard for me to, like, keep telling the bad news over and over and over. Um, so, like I've said before, it's been really awesome. And I recommend, you know, anybody going through the process to get on some boards and meet some other women who are going through um, the process at the same time. Instagram, which I never even thought about. Like, there's, like, this whole, like, society of people on Instagram who, amazingly, are going through the exact same things. And a lot of them, like, at the same times that you're going through stuff. So, it's really cool to be able to have, like, some trying to conceive sisters who, you know, they're doing their transfers and they're stemming and they're getting their embryo reports at the same time as you. And, you know, to be able to have that group of women who, like, you know, uplift you when you're sad about, you know, stuff that maybe other people who aren't going through IVF don't really know, um, you know, not so good news or, you know, how to differentiate between the two. So that's been really good. And then also, since my husband is so very black and white about things to be able to like, you know, be really sad and have people understand, um, who have been in similar situations and can understand, like, you're hurt as women, you know, I don't know, being usually more emotional, um, has been really good. And I'm sure it's been awesome for Tim, too, because he only has to hear about all my, you know, crazy thought processes a little bit instead of all the time. Um, most of them I save for my Instagram girls or my fertility friend girls, so that's good. Um... Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't really know when my next update will be. It'll probably be like around genetic screening time. Um, hopefully we'll get those soon and fingers crossed that everything comes back normal on the majority of them. You know, I understand I'm probably going to lose a couple, but hopefully it comes back normal on the majority of them and we'll have some really good options for transfer um, and then other than that, I'm just going to be waiting for um, cycle day one to happen so that I can call Dr. A's office and we can um, start getting going on my frozen embryo transfer cycle stuff. So there's only two medications. I got them sent to the pharmacy today that I know of at the moment that we're going to be using. One of them is, um, oh my gosh. Loop run. I think that's what it is. I'll have to look it up and make sure that I'm saying it right. Probably not. Um, and then progesterone and oil injections, which those are fat needles. So I'm not really looking forward to those, but anything for baby G. Um, so that's where we're at. I'm just living on my happiness about our 11 babies right now. And I'm going to enjoy this time period where I'm content and happy with what's going on and not anxious and nervous. Um, and hopefully I'll have some good news for you the next time I talk to you. Thank you for continuing to send us lots of love and support. And yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys.